Okay, good day, everyone. Um, today, I, I will be explaining to you, guiding you on how to create your G Suite email account, which is the premium account for Gmail. Okay. Um, of course, after this video, um, Mrs. Raquel and myself will be administering the G Suite accounts, which means we can assist you further into this venture. Okay. So the first thing you must do is open your web browser. I prefer using Google Chrome and now when you are inside your web browser you will now move on to your web address, the URL and there you will type in gmail.com okay so you press enter once you have that And there we are. We're inside Gmail. Now for most parents, or if you're using somebody else's device, it will take you directly to your Gmail account if it's open. Okay? But here, what I want to do now is I want to sign out. Okay? So I will sign out from it. I'll continue. And then now this is the actual website that you should be taking from the very start, okay? When you type gmail.com, this is it, okay? So that means if you haven't signed in into your device, you need to sign out first, so it takes you directly to here, okay? So if I begin, and let's say you are not signed in, okay, you can go to your web browser, click on Google Chrome. If you're using Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Safari, that works also. Now in your URL, once again, you just type in gmail com okay press enter okay now it's loading and here we are okay if you have never signed in you will simply just need to plug in your username but now since I currently have several accounts I will have to use another account okay so I click here use another account because this is your G Suite account it's new so I click on it and in this text box now, I need to type in my G Suite account. I will use as an example a student. Okay, I already contacted the chat group for the student, and this student hasn't signed in as yet, so I will use the name. So you type the first name along with the second name. In this case, it's the surname. Right, so here it's Amira Koyi. First name Amira, surname Koyi, at, and this is the domain, bhsc.edu.bz. Okay, so note very carefully that this is your username. Okay, so after you have your username, now yes, you click on next. Now you will type in your password. Okay, so let me type in the password. Now for you to have um, your password typed in, you need to first ensure that your home room has provided you with that so that you can access it and uh, then you type it in correctly. Okay, so there it is. We have already logged into Google account. This is your agreement. You simply just accept. If you want to read it, go ahead. Now that I accept the agreement, it will take me directly to my email. And there we are, okay? So we have all of the invitations from the teachers in regards to your Google Meet. We will also be, um, of course, enabling certain applications and uh, we will be assisting, if anything, with the Google Meet. All right, so got it there. Now, um, something else that you would want to do after this is change your password. Okay, if you haven't logged in to your G Suite before or to Moodle and change your password, you need to do that because the default password, maybe somebody else can try it and log into your system. All right, to do that now, you have to ensure that you go to your settings. Now in Gmail, here on the side, um, normally you will have your menu and uh, if anything, you can click there and 
compose your mail or reply to a teacher. You can go to your inbox, your start. That means the favorite emails that you have. So this is very important, okay? Before we continue, your inbox check for us, whether you have any links there that have been sent so that you can save it. So here in G Suite now, let me go to the settings. I already mentioned the security features of it, so I'll go to the settings. Now that um, I go to my settings, I must ensure that I can change, okay, that I can change my password in this. So here in the settings, I must go to see all settings, click there, and uh, remember to be a little bit patient. Okay, now that you're here in your settings, you will go to your accounts, okay? Here in your accounts, click there, and uh, now I will see change account settings right here, okay? Click on Google account settings, and uh, we are in our settings. So, uh, what I need to type here now is simply just change password, okay? So you search for that, how to change your password, and there it is, okay? Change or reset your password. So choose password and uh, it's right here, change your password. You click on that, now change the password. Now I have to type in again my password. This is the old one that you have to type in, all right? Because remember, it's for security measures that nobody else gets into your account. So it's a good idea that you change it and here it will request for it again. So let me type my old password. Now I click next. And there it is, okay? So for your new password, Remember that you need to take into consideration capital letters, characters, numbers, so that the strength of the password is very strong, okay? So let me type the new um, password here. There it is, confirm the password. So it says password strength, strong, okay? I'm using a capital letter, I'm using lowercase letters, and I'm also using numbers. So change the password, and your password was changed, okay? I don't want to save the password here in the web browser, especially if it's not my device. So let me click there and never. Mm -hmm. There it is, so let me get started. Okay, there we go. Now, the next thing is whenever you are in your Gmail, your G Suite, is that you have access to your Google Apps from there. So I recommend students now to start working with your Drive, which is where you will store your stuff there. You also can work with your uh, Docs, your Sheets, which are very similar to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. You also have your Slides to create your own PowerPoint presentations. In this case, it's Slides, all right? You can also work with diff different applications for this. And of course, you have your calendar. In your calendar, I'll ask students to click on it, and that will take you now to your calendar. Okay, so let me just click got it there. In your case, make sure to read it, okay? See there, in the calendar now, whenever the teacher posts, let me, let's see. Okay, so ask me later about this. Now, for your calendar, you see this here? This is what the teacher sent as a notification. So it will appear automatically in your calendar. Okay, once you accept, you click on it and you say that you will attend. Here you will receive all of your notifications and in regards to your Google Meet. Now that takes us to our Google Meeting. But by the way, here also you can use it personally. You can place um, probably your schedule here as to when you will be working online, when you will be working offline, and other things that you want the calendar to remind you, okay? You simply just need to click on it, you see, and you add a title, for example, here, you can add in study time. In this study time now, you can put in your time from what time to what time you'll be studying, let's say from 11.30 to 12.30 p.m., let's change that, you'll be having lunch probably, 
11.30 to 12.30. If you want this to be repeated, so you don't have to be creating this um, notification every time, you can put on it weekly on Mondays, okay? But you can customize it, it's up to you. You can invite people to it, you can create your own study groups, you know, add a Google meeting for it, click on it, add it, you know, and here's your code for you to create your own Google Meet. You can add your location, if anything, your description about it, put attachments to it. Maybe you have a, an ebook to it that you want to attach. Go ahead. And your notifications, all right? You can add in more than one notification. Do you want to be notified five minutes before? Ten minutes, you can add. You can add another notification. Maybe you didn't hear the first one. Fifteen minutes before the time. And then you can save it, okay? And it will be there in your calendar. So let's go now to the Google Meet. Same Google Apps there and you will go to your Meet there. Google Meet, okay? You can click on it. And here now, see we have nothing scheduled as yet. But tomorrow before the classes, you will see that the meetings will appear here. So you can join or start the meeting immediately. All right, so it's very convenient, very nice to work with Google, especially the Google um, G Suite, whereby you will have access to more applications and you will be a premium user. Okay, so um, remember, try it, test it, and if anything, contact your homeroom about it, and then we'll see how we can assist you on it, all right? So um, to finalize, I would like to also clarify that um, I'm not the administrator for the Moodle platform, okay? I know that so many students have been calling me, texting me, parents and everything in regards to how to troubleshoot it or anything. So um, I cannot really assist you on that, okay? We, we have tutorials about it on how to use it, but when it comes to the administration of it, I cannot help, all right? We are administering now the G Suite account um, along with uh, Mrs. Raquel and myself, so we will be more than happy to assist you. All right, so with that, I conclude. Thank you very much.